Hi, I'm Tim Laughlin, and I'd like to invite everybody to come celebrate Pete Fountain's 80th birthday at the Rock and Bowl this Saturday, tomorrow, from 3 to 6. There'll be a lot of music, a lot of people from New Orleans. Uh, the Half-Ass Walking Club will be there, and uh, I hope you can join us. Well, if I had to say what Pete Fountain has meant to me uh, in my life, I'd, uh, he's the reason I played music. Uh, when I was nine, I I picked up the clarinet because I liked the sound. I didn't know what jazz was, but I, I knew what a clarinet was and I wanted to play it because a friend of mine played down the street. And so when I, uh, when I started playing, I would walk in to the, the kitchen and my dad would be playing the radio and I heard this clarinet playing on, on the radio, on one of the stations, local stations, and it was Pete Fountain. So that was the first time I heard jazz uh, was on a Saturday or Sunday morning and I said who is that and he said it's Pete Fountain so uh, I started collecting his albums and playing along and it his voice was my voice almost uh, he's he was the first guy I heard and the first guy uh, I, I played with the record I met him when I was on my 17th birthday and we, we uh, I, I used to go to his club every uh, maybe a couple of weeks. I uh, wouldn't hound him every night, but every, I'd, I'd, I'd get out of the house and uh, I was too young to get in, so I used to sit outside and listen. And I, I, I kind of dug that a lot because it was uh, sort of like hearing a, a, a record. You really uh, used, used your ears because you, you didn't have the spectacle of uh, seeing him. And then um, as, as I got older, I got to know him a little better and uh, joined the walking club with the band and uh, you know we've been friends for 30 years. So um, and now I play shows with them. You know how how cool is that? Stand, get to stand next to a legend and uh, play the clarinet with them. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pete.